Hello, Guy Solis here, Gentleman's Edge, Denver, Colorado. Uh, <clears throat> this is something I made about two years ago. I just resurfaced it with the chromium green. So uh, I can't remember what I called it, but I'm going to call it in this video a tabletop strop. It's made with a flattened two by or one by four. Put some rubber legs on it so it don't slip. And the way I flattened, I got a nice uh, belt sander and just kind of went over it. Anyway, uh, I put uh, I glued some glass on it and uh, a piece of leather. And it, the one I just had on here before was uh, the same chromium green, but I made stripes on the ends and it looked really cool. But I didn't use it for two years and it was just dust. So I just took it off and I reapplied with the uh, Maggard's uh, chromium green paste. And I'll tell you, I didn't want to put that much on, but I'll tell you, a little bit really does go a long way. All right, and it looks like another fine day on the bus, huh? I just slicked my hair back with some Admiral water-based pomade. This is great stuff. Smells a little coconutty. Coconutty. I'd rather have it smell like cologne, but it's a very good product because it leaves your hair looking wet and has a great hold. So today I'm going to be shaving with the black pepper from uh, Rustex Shaving Products, and I'm going to use my double duck. A short after shave I'm going to use yet, but that is beside the point. Um, as I've said, I'm kind of using this stuff. I love I love everything about this soap except for the scent. The scent is just not there for me. Uh, I don't think it's there for anybody. I've asked a couple of people what it smelled like because I'm getting old. <clears throat> and my sniffer may be going out. Look at all this gray hair. And the first time I saw gray hair appear on my face, I thought either I'm getting old or I'm turning into a wizard. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I guess I'm getting old. <clears throat> Alright, so, I'm going to do a three pass shave with the uh, double duck. Odin the Thunder Pooch is doing well, very well. He's got a little itching problem, not quite sure what it is. The vet says it's probably mites. Let's just treat for mites, see what happens. I'm going, well, you know, the previous owner did that, and he found no mites. He doesn't itch all the time, so I'm not biting them all the time, if they are mites. It'll pre-shave. Now today I have some time, so I'm going to just take my time and shave with a straight razor. My dilemma is since I started working for this company, which is almost exactly a year ago, was that I am a great procrastinator and I always wind up shaving at the last minute and I shave rapidly. Now I can shave my entire three passes. I can do three passes on, with a straight razor in seven minutes on my face. Who wants to do that? I'm not going to do that. I was just checking myself out, see how fast I was. So, um, so I started to nick myself, nick myself right here about two weeks ago. It still looks like hell, and it really made me mad that I did that. So, uh, anyway, um, I'll be right back. Okay, so, yeah, I'm still using the scuttle. It's been, uh, God, it's going to be 65 here today. It's just, that's an incredible number for this time of year. And... Uh, starting to feel my age a little bit. And away we go, huh? It's cutting very well. It's actually very concerned with the uh, stropping I did with the chromium green because the chromium green uh, like caked up. It caked up and it created a little bit of an uneven honing surface. Uh, it seems like it's doing very well. I mean, uh, you know, what the heck? I have four days growth beard. But this razor always felt good.
Oh, little nick right there, look at that. That came from the from the spike when I was like this. That's kind of my dilemma. I, I want to get away from cutting myself. Uh, it's been so long since I cut myself. For this past year, I've just been cutting myself enough times to make me look at myself and say, you know, I don't need any more cuts. So I've been kind of scaling back. been scaling back on my straight razor usage and the only round tip blade that I got uh, I just can't it just I'm not honing it right it's it's taken it came to me brand new brand new uh, from a shop here in Denver I get home and I notice that there's some excessive uh, and uneven scale wear and since then, I, I, I hold it on with uh, just by itself. See how it, how it could take an edge? Didn't take an edge. And I went all the way up to three layers of tape. First, I did one, two, and three, like that. And I'm on the third one. And I don't know. My determination so far, because I'm still not shaving right, so I need to spend more time on the edge, uh, developing the, the uh, bevel. Because I'm, I'm kind of a, uh, I do things kind of quick, and I'm thinking that I just, um, I just moved too quickly through the progression with that razor. It's a beautiful razor, and it's a round tip, so I wouldn't have to worry about getting little nicks like this. So, um, anyway, on with the show. Right off so I don't slip. So got another little nick right there. This is my first experience using chromium green. I'll tell you what, I think it pretty, put a pretty good edge on my razor. So all I did is I hit the chromium green and I uh, got the razor and I put it on my fine leather strap. That's all I did. I did hone this a couple weeks ago. Uh, I think I took it down to four. So I got some more cuts right there. I went down to four. Thousand grit eight. All the way up to twenty, and then 
then on the lapping sheet, 0.3 micron lapping sheet. So, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Because my lung still had bronchitis in it from November. Here it is like end of February. Well, many times that I've cut myself over the past 10 years, at this stage you can't really see it. But as soon as you put the aftershave on, it just comes out a line. So, hopefully that's not the case here. Be right back. Moving some of that Stepic pencil. Uh, I am I am disappointed that um, I am disappointed that I'm uh, getting these little nicks in my rate for my razors because I love my razors but put my face more you know what I mean uh, okay it looks pretty good all right to my regular routine, huh? Do some affairs, witch hazel. Uh, the next step is I always put on a little bit of antibiotic ointment up on a cut to minimize. Just a little bit. So, um, yeah, then I put a little bit of moisturizer. I don't need so much now because it's almost, it feels like summertime out there to me. So, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to use yep, WSP's Mahogany Aftershave. This stuff always smells great, man. Don't waste a drop of that. Don't have gone on this bottle. I better go and uh, order me some more. So um, <clears throat> this is my mentality right now is you know and this is it should be everyone's mentality who shaves is make a choice my choice is to use um the double edge razor mostly and the straight edge um periodically i think i'm going to sell about a number of my razors rather uh straight razors i'll keep the double duck and i'll keep um uh, i'll keep the cape Anyway, this is Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge, Straight Razor Sales and Service, going out to do the number 12. Y'all take care, man. Bye.